All right, here we go. So I'm in the middle of retrofitting this table and it occurred to me that, you know, I should probably document this and put it on YouTube because when I searched about retrofitting an old table, much less a Torchmate table, there wasn't a whole lot of uh, videos out there that covered this or anything, not very many things in the search results. But I thought there's gotta be other guys out here that have these old tables and are looking for a better solution as far as the control systems, uh, torch height control, stuff like that. So what you're looking at is an old Torchmate 2 bolt together table. And Torchmate, uh, this is Torchmate before they were bought out by Lincoln Electric, what you, what you see now, um, the bigger red and black machines that they sell for, they're nice machines, they sell them for a lot of money. But anyway, this table was delivered originally in March of 2011, and I'm the third owner. The first owner, I think, was somewhere in the Midwest, and he didn't use it very much. The second owner is a good friend of mine, and we ended up buying, my uncle and I, we ended up buying this table from him. So without going into the weeds too much, it's a 5x10 uh, model. The Torchmate 2 originally had a belt drive, a belt and pulley drive system. It only had one motor on the Y axis, obviously only one motor on the X. The motor on the Y was connected via drive shaft to another pinion over here and a rack on this left side. And that's what kept the rack or kept the gantry from racking or going sideways. And it worked. Um, it was a it was a decent setup. Originally, it was a, a downdraft table, and we had it exhausted through the sidewall here. My buddy Jason that we bought it from, he had a big sheet metal plenum built. It was all ducted, and it it exit all the exhaust and everything exited through this uh, sidewall. I got tired of breathing that smoke, and I got tired of the mess. It just wasn't adequate for what I was doing. And in this small space, we decided to change from downdraft to water table. So we built some brackets. We had a local sheet metal shop bend up um, a galvanized, uh, basically a galvanized table or tray. I welded the seams together. We figured out a way to hang it from the, the big frame here. And so that's where we're at. Along with that, we also upgraded from Torchmate 2 spec to Torchmate 3. Uh, Lincoln Electric, I don't know if they still do, but a couple of years ago, they did still sell an upgrade kit. And what that got you was, you did away with the belt and pulley drive system, you did away with the drive shaft, you added a motor over here to the Y-axis, and you also added these five to one um, gearboxes. So there's no more belt, and pulley system and you have two motors which is much more like the modern plasma tables you, you see today where you have two motors on the y obviously you have one x but that didn't address the torch height control system and for those of you that might be familiar with the old torchmate stuff the torch height control system is the old blue screen for this one and i just it didn't really work when we got the table. I figured out how to get it to work, but it never really worked reliably. And furthermore, the torch height control system, the blue screen, is a separate system from the software. It's not driven by the software and it just never really worked right. So brings me to the present day. I feel like the bones of the table are good. The motors are good. The structure is good, but the old Torchmate uh, controls are just outdated. And uh, I really wanted a functional torch height control. So there's a couple of companies you could go with with a retrofit. Um, the original company that built the controls for Torchmate, and here's the old control box, the old torch height control, the blue screen. I believe these were originally manufactured, or at least this box here was originally manufactured by 
uh, a company called Flash Cut. I called them and they do offer a retrofit, but it just was not within my budget. I just kind of forgot about it for a while. I came, I came out here to use the table recently and I just had nothing but trouble getting it to cut correctly. And uh, I just kind of fed up with it. And I thought there's gotta be something else out there. So enter Spark Robotic. So I got on uh, the Facebook user group, I think it's called CNC Plasma Tips and Tricks. And I just said, hey, is there other companies out there that would do a retrofit for an old Torchmate table? And Frank from Spark Robotic, he responded. I got a phone call from him, I think. It was either an email or a phone call within a couple of hours. And we started talking about his retrofit kits. So I'm pretty excited. Here is the new control box. Um, they sent me a, a torch holder that's got kind of a proximity sensor breakaway system on it. The new controls are, uh, are the new software is by a company called My Plasm or My Plasma Proma. And it brings me up to current technology with the integrated torch height control. Um, I will say that the torch holder or the breakaway torch holder that they sent me does not, would not work with the old Torchmate Z-axis without having to do some, you know, some pretty extensive machining to get it to bolt onto this. So I went ahead and bought the entire Z-axis from them. So anyway, to bring it up to current day or to bring it up to speed, this is kind of where we're at right now. I sent them my motors and they would have provided new motors for me. However, the motors that I'm currently running have a 3.8 shaft and uh, they're brand new. So I just said, here, can you just rewire my motors to work with your system? And they should, they said, sure, no problem. So, I've already installed, reinstalled the motors, retrofitted with their new cables and plugs. Um, I also, one of the other things I really wanted to do was install uh, limit switches, which is what these are. These are huge, robust sensors. You don't probably need something this big, but this, but this is what Frank recommended at Spark Robotics. So this is what I got. And I wanted limit switches on this table because from where I control the table, which is over here, it's pretty far to go back and forth and make sure I don't run the gantry off the rack or run, run yeah, or run the gantry off the rack. I don't, I, I have never had limit switches and every once in a while I'd run the gantry a little bit too far and then that causes all kinds of problems because I got to realign everything back up to get it back on the rack and make sure it's not crooked, etc. So. That's the other thing that I'm really excited about with this new retrofit with Spark Robotic. I have the ability for not only soft limits, which are programmed within the software, but actually hard limits via switch. So I've got switches on the X, two switches on the X, two switches on the Y. Um, for some of, your, some of you guys, that might not be necessary, but it's something I wanted. The other thing I really wanted was the ability to put an e-stop switch on here. I can't tell you how many times, because this is such a big table, I'll be down here cutting something, and I'll have a tip up, and I've got to run all the way back over there to stop the machine, because this thing never came with an e-stop switch. So what I'm planning on doing is installing the e-stop switch right here on the gantry, so most likely I am within arm's reach while I'm running the table of this location right here in the gantry so I can hit stop if there's a problem. So anyway, I'm, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm pretty excited about getting this old girl back running and I'm excited to see, uh, you know, what it does with a true uh, automatic torch height control system. Some of you guys that are watching this that have run plasma tables are probably thinking, well, you're crazy because you know, that's what we have with our tables, our current tables now. Well, this table really never had a very good one. And uh, furthermore, it wasn't integrated with the software. It was its own separate system. So 
that's what we got going on. I just wanted to get on here and kind of explain um, or introduce myself and what I'm doing. And hopefully some of you guys that maybe have some older tables, doesn't even have to be a torch make table, maybe it's another make, that aren't really willing to just throw the structure away. You just need to bring it up to new 2024 spec. You're looking for a retrofit. I'm just kind of documenting this. And to show you what my results are. All right, here we okay, go. Okay, well, the upgrade is done. I've got everything installed. Like I mentioned before, I had to get a new Z-axis from Spark Robotic and adapt it to the X carriage here that came with the original Torchmain setup. And basically I just had to drill some holes in that back plate and adapt to what holes were there in the original carriage. Um, I really, I really like this Z-axis way better than what I originally had. Of course, it's got the collision sensors here and um, everything's been working great. I was able to adapt my existing plate marker. Um, we had, originally we had some issues with the switching for the uh, relay port for that. And Frank helped me out with that. Frank at Spark Robotic has been extremely helpful very responsive. He gets back to me within minutes when I email him. It's been great. Uh, 3D printed a box here to mount the e-stop switch like I was talking about earlier. So we got that mounted. We've got the mechanical limit switches mounted up and wired in. Turns out I only needed two. I just needed one for the Y and one for the, for the X here. So the, uh, the X over there and the Y over here, even though um, I still wired in the X here and a Y down there at the end. The machine uses soft limits, uh, software limits as well. After you figure out where the hard limits are, you can program in uh, limits to that side as well. So that part I'm still sort of getting familiar with, but Frank helped me get that set up. Uh, yeah, everything's been working great. I've got my wires all, all organized. And uh, I'll go ahead and show you the machine running and cutting some parts. These are some parts that I cut out of eighth inch off the machine. Very good results for out of the box settings. Really, I'm really impressed with it. I'm really happy with it. What a difference a actual functional automatic torch height control makes. Um, I've cut several test pieces out of eighth inch, 16 gauge, um, 14 gauge, 12 gauge, and also 3 16 with one 45 amp nozzle and running the Power Max 85. And I'd never be able to do that before with the old Torchmate setup. It uh, went through nozzles like crazy because there was just no functional torch height control. So over here, we got the Spark Robotic box, all the wires coming in. Of course, your Power Max 85, and the system comes with a new computer as an Acer laptop. It's already got the uh, Proma My Plasma software uh, installed on it. It also came with uh, Inkscape, but I'm still using Torchmate for some small stuff, and of course, using um, Fusion 360, which is what I I had used prior. Um, I don't really know the Inkscape uh, software yet. May not need to get to know it but uh, we'll see in the future here. Uh, the system is very compact. This is originally how I had the old um, Torchmate controls set up. They were set up up here on the shelf. You guys can adapt it to whatever you guys need to if you're gonna be doing an upgrade. Um, but yeah, like I said, overall, very, very happy. If you guys have any questions or uh, need some information regarding the upgrade, or the retrofit regarding the torch mate, whatever, feel free to leave comments below. I'll also leave contact info for Spark Robotic and the product down in, in the description. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I just really wanted to put this on here because I know there's probably a lot of guys that have old plasma tables like me that aren't really ready to go and buy a brand new one, especially if you're an occasional user like me. And uh, just just know there's some, some better controls out there 
especially if you're using some older uh, Torchmate or maybe some older brand stuff that doesn't necessarily support a functional torch high control system. All right, thank you guys for watching and uh, have a good one.